Hey guys, Mark from Visa Tui. This month, we're headed to the capital of Tasty Town, Visa Tui, for this month's Wine of the Month Club recipe. Hey guys, Mark here at Visa Tui coming at you with June's Wine of the Month Club recipe. I should say recipes. This month, I went down double because we're gonna do a candied bacon duet. Just happens to be the most perfect pairing on the planet for any of Visa Tui's Zinfandels. For all of you Zinfandel fans out there, you're blessed because Visa Tui quite has a house specialty in them. We're up to making 13 different Zinfandels. Not one is like another. The one I've chosen for this specific pairing is our Dry Creek Zin. It's a real great view of the most stereotypical of jam and spice marriages that you can find in Zinfandels from this area. So what better to set off Zinfandel than the king of meats? That would be bacon. So firstly, quite simple enough, you're gonna need a couple of baking sheets, parchment on the bottom or aluminum foil, is just gonna help with cleanup in the end, but some wire racks on the top. And this is gonna let our bacon breathe and get nice and crispy from underneath as well as on top. So we're gonna take our thick cut bacon and half for our candied spiced bacon recipe and the other half is going for a bourbon honey bacon recipe. And this is one of those things where you can set it out as just a playful uh, appetizer uh, or even as something as a place setting when people sit down to a table. It's just some quick, nice, fun, inventive munchie to get the palate going. Now you wanna get a nice thick cut bacon. Uh, this is gonna be essential for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, we're gonna be putting some toppings as it were, a crust on one, a liquid on the other, and to have that thicker cut is really going uh, to leave that nice mouth feel. And when you have a rich, fatty piece of meat, uh, with this complete contrast of having some sweet and spice going on. Uh, it's a beautiful thing to have. So for our honey bourbon bacon, simple enough, all we're gonna do is take our bacon, go right into a 350 oven. We're gonna let it go just on its own to start rendering some of the fat out. And that's gonna be around five to 10 minutes worth. All right, so in we go. We'll give ourselves, like I said, five minutes at first. We're looking to just basically par cook or about half cook the bacon. So now on to our actual bourbon and honey mixture for this. And naturally, we're gonna be using our Visa Tui Estate honey. So in goes our honey. And followed by bourbon. Now, for those of you who know me, you might be able to ascertain where the stuff in the mason jar comes from but I'll leave it at that. Use your favorite bourbon. So we're gonna turn this on to a, get it up to a simmer. As soon as we see those bubbles and a little bit of a boil going, we're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and just let it cool slightly. So we've made it up to a simmer, time to cut off the heat. And just let that sit. We want that to come down in temperature just a little bit we can put together the essential dry rub ingredients for the other candy bacon recipe. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with some light brown sugar. We've got cayenne pepper and crushed red pepper. Do not use red chili flake. It is not the same as crushed red pepper. The crushed red pepper will have the seeds or what they call the flake, but also actual little pieces of the pepper not quite as spicy, a little bit more sweet and aromatic. And then some fresh cracked black pepper. Yeah. Quite simple, as I said, we're gonna give this a good mix, get all those ingredients incorporated. All right, guys, so on to our bacon. And do not be shy. The recipe that I have given you is the amount of coating that you want to completely use all of. Just make sure, of course, then that you would spread it evenly. 
Now there's something magical about the spicy and sweet combination. You know, we eat more Snicker bars in this country than anything else in that category every year. The American palate loves what we call contrast pairings. So spicy and sweet are essentially opposites that attract. Now, this one's gonna go in the oven and our honey bourbon bacon that's been par cooking is gonna be coming out. And in we go. One in and one out. So we can see just about half cooked. We don't want to get any kind of crisping going on yet. We want to make sure that our honey and bourbon is in the game when we do that. We'll just give this a good whisk, make sure everything is incorporated. And we are just going to ladle right over the top and make sure every little piece or part of this bacon gets some of this bourbon and honey mixture. And woo, if you could smell this from here. Bourbon definitely tells you it's in there, but remember, we will be cooking off the alcohol. And again, make sure you use all of the mixture. It's okay, a lot of it's gonna go to the bottom, but we need to make sure that we get as much on the top of this bacon as possible. Now this is gonna go join up with the second set of bacon, and they should, if all goes to plan, come out of your oven at essentially the same time. And in we go. And boy, I can already smell that brown sugar and chili working on that spiced rub. You're just gonna have to sort of babysit it here at the oven. What I mean is, every once in a while, just give a peek and see how done it is. We want our bacon to be completely cooked through. We need it to be crispy and have most of that fat rendered out so that when it's all done, it looks just so nice standing up straight in whatever vessel you want to display it in. So it's been about five minutes. Let's check. Ooh, you can see we're starting to get some bubbling here, but some of the brown sugar has yet to begin to melt. Down here on our honey bourbon, we are beginning to crisp and we're getting that beautiful caramelization. All right, guys, I think time's up. We've got perfectly crispy bacon with a beautiful bubbly crust on top. Now, once you pull them out of the oven, just take those same racks, but off of your hot half sheet pans and just put it onto a, a cool surface. We're gonna wanna let these cool down and really air dry for about 10 minutes. And that's what really makes them nice and crispy. All right, guys, both of the bacons have had plenty of time to cool down. Like I said, around 10, even better, 15 minutes if you can let it rest, if you can keep yourself from attacking these in that amount of time, it is better. But when it comes time for plating, a couple different approaches. Let's say you're having a, a dinner party or a lunch party and you want this to be your quirky, fun kind of past hors d'oeuvre. Well, put together a platter of champagne flutes and grab a slice of each kind and simply just layer right into your flute and pass these out. Every guest is gonna get a taste of each type of the bacon. Otherwise, your other approach, like me, I don't, can't put that much energy into things. I'm busy drinking my wine, so I just wanna put out a whole bunch of this for people to be able to find and enjoy. So just grab a nice Bordeaux glass and let's put a collection. Let's say just three of each of these kinds in here. So on one side, we'll do our honey bourbon. Naturally, we'll come back with our candy spice on the other. All right, so let's go for it. What a match made in heaven. It can't go any better than that for a wine and food pairing with Visa Tui's top flight Zinfandels. By the way, guys, anybody wants to experience walking into a reserve room tasting and find this in front of you, Come find me on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Our Vittorio room is open to the public. Please make reservations, but what you'll get is our candied spice bacon paired with our absolute best reserve and estate and library wines. Until next time, bon appetito and cheers.